Hey everyone, welcome back to the place where we're testing every single mask and respirator. That's right, on Amazon. Today we are looking at the Honeywell DF300. How do they come up with these names? Like <laughs> the DF300, like it sounds like a robot from space, but it's not. It's a KN95 N95 style mask that you too can buy on Amazon for like, well, about a buck a piece, pretty good. Pretty good. So it's the KN95 style that they put head straps on. And uh, let's stop talking about that and put it in the box now. Oof, I already hate this mask. I know, right? This guy's got opinions. Look at this box. It's not a soft touch and it's got the, uh, that, that in there. And look at, look at, we didn't do this. Did we do this? We didn't do this. Look at this. Just no attention to detail, Honeywell. It's just spilling out of the bag. It's not even sealed. Come on, guys. Where's the love? Where's the pride, huh? Where's the pride? And then look at it, like that Honeywell is like half printed on there. Come on. How does that break? How does that make it past uh, your quality process? Clamp cam. Look, I'm always going to hate on the big manufacturers just because I'm biased, because I'm a, I'm a hater. I'm just a bad person with a bad attitude. So I, I, no, I'm just gonna expect more from somebody that's been doing this for so long. Let's check out this mask. Um, this is an interesting KN95 design. I kind of like that. You know, actually, when you see this thing coming at you, I actually, I think DF300 is the right name for this. Look out, it's the DF300. Wah, wah, wah. Look, I, what, what, what is this, a mask for ants? How <laughs> am I supposed to put this on? Look at, look at this. <laughs> Oh, sh okay. Okay, what the f is going Okay, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, wow, that smelled like someone's used sock drawer. What is going on? <laughs> Seriously. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, just smell this. I, <laughs> I am not kidding. Dude, that is real weird. That is, re that's what I'm gonna call this smell. Real weird. Like, I don't know what that is, but it's not right. It is not right. And that's so weird, because I just smelled another mat. Maybe there's a gas leak in here. Like there could be something going on because I've had two masks in a row that have been the worst smelling masks ever. Okay, let's let's break this guy apart a little bit and see that this is, this is, okay, the, the, this is the, the DF300 N95. Looks to be at a legit N95, I'm sure it is. It's, it's Honeywell, they make a lot of stuff. Um, I do like the unique like cross pattern they have here. It's like an X coming at you. Um, so that's something, I guess. Look at this though, it's like almost a hole right there. Um, smell is horrible, can never wear this mask. I don't know, man, I don't know what's going on. All right, let's do the, let's do the uh, head straps. So micro head straps, right? But, what? Oh, it broke. Why does that always happen? So, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. It was weird that one broke, though. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. Uh, smells horrible. Unusable. Totally unusable. <laughs> just totally, you, you can't use this mask. So, I mean, I'll show you what the percentage is here. Let's do it. It's 97%. Great. How good is that if you can't put it on your face for more than a second because it smells so bad? Like, I don't know, Honeywell, maybe seal the bag next time. That's it, I'm out. I'll catch you on the next test.